Hello everyone, this is my automatic Super Mario Bros. player that uses an Arduino, an EasyCap capture card, and a Python script. It has a control overlay on the top right corner so that you can see what buttons are being pressed. And it runs by tracking Mario's position as the game plays. It also tracks the position of many different objects on the screen such as pipes, and Goombas and Pits, so that Mario can jump over them accordingly. Mario has a different behavior based on what object he detects, such as doing a short jump whenever he sees a Goomba, and doing a high jump whenever he sees a Pit or a Pipe. He also does a high jump whenever he notices that he gets stuck in that uh, portion between those two staircases over there. and he is able to get past the first level by doing this. <laughs> Fireworks. Alright, so let's show how this works. This uses an Arduino Uno, which has a custom connection bridge that we created. It is connected to the ground and 5 volt pins on the controller, thus allowing us to power the NES by connecting it to our computer. We have wires soldered onto every button on the controller, and they are, let me just get these wires out of the way, they're routed out to the ribbon cable so that we can uh, connect it to our Arduino with ease, just like that. We also have an EasyCap capture card which allows us to get the video signal from the NES and that just goes from the NES uh, and plugs in through USB. And the brain of all of this is a Python code that we wrote which, uh, as I said, tracks every object on the screen. It also allows us to um, tell Mario when to jump or when to move left or right by sending serial communication messages from the Arduino or sorry from the Python code to the Arduino by using PySerial and all this is done by using the OpenCV library in Python uh, which allows us to get the video stream and interpret it as we wish by using HSV or BGR uh, thresholding which allows us to find objects based on the colors that we see on the screen and certain areas of colors. And that's about it. Uh, if there are any questions, leave a comment below and hopefully I'll be able to get to it. This code is only, I'd say, around six to 700 lines without comments, so it's not really that long. Um, this is our high school project for the Science and Engineering Learning Center. And yeah, I think that's about it. Just scrolling through the code right now just to show all of it. It's, it really isn't a long code, it just took a lot of time to perfect and get it to beat the level consistently. But yeah, thanks for watching.